हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द केस ऑफ करूर कोंगू चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट वर्सेस इनकम टैक्स ऑफिसर एग्जामशन एंड अदर्स दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन 455 आईटीआर आई पेज नंबर 479 द मैटर हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाय मद्रास हाई कोर्ट एंड द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज ट्वेंटी दिसंबर टू इन दिस केस 61 assessments were done for the assessee under section 147 the notices were issued under section 148 the assessee raised the objections on the plea that these notices have been issued beyond 4 years and there is change of opinion and there is no escapement of income but the objections of the assessee were not uh, accepted by the department and accordingly the assessment under section 147 was done in this case 61 red petitions were filed there was a batch of 61 petitions on the same ground two were filed by the trust and 59 were filed by the trustees of the trust when the assessment orders were passed under section 147 the assessee filed the cit appeal for that assessment orders so when this matter came before the court for the hearing in the writ petition the court made a batch of 61 petitions and disposed of by a single order by stating that in this case the assessee has availed the alternative remedy that is by filing the appeal to the cit appeal so the assessee cannot hold the two positions at a time that at the same time the assessee is in the cit appeal and the assessee is coming to the writ court so in this case the biggest flaw in the writ petitions was that the assessee has already filed the writ petitions the assessee should not have gone to the uh, cit appeal but there is genuine problem for the assessee also because sometimes it happens that in filing the writ petitions it involves a lot of effort it involves a lot of time on the part of the assessee and sometimes the assessee is not able to make its mind that whether the assessee has to go into the writ petition or not and at the same time the time for filing the appeals is also getting the time barred so the assessee sometimes do not have the option just to file the appeal and then the assessee feels that uh, there is uh, some ap apparent mistakes by the department there is uh, the assessment orders have passed without jurisdiction but if there is general rule that if the cit appeals have been filed generally the high courts do not entertain the writ petitions this is a settled law secondly the court said that the assessee was contesting all the writ petitions mainly on the two grounds first was that there was change of opinion on the part of the assessing officer while issuing the notices and completing the assessment under section 147 and the second was that the assessee was contest contesting that there is no escapement of income so the court said that whether there is change of opinion or not whether there is escapement of income of uh, escapement of income or not this is the point of fact this is the determination of facts this is not determination of law so the court said that the work of the court is to work on the law position and not on the question of fact so the high court cannot sit into the position of the appellate authority or in the chair of the assessing officer and decide whether there is change of opinion or not whether there is escapement of income or not because that can be done only by the assessing officer or by the appellate authorities because uh, they have the sufficient time the court the time of the court is very important if the assessee has contested the writ petition on the ground that they are uh, the provisions of the law has not been followed the procedures ha have not been followed or the jurisdiction of the sections have not been followed or the provisions are ultra virus only then the courts entertain the writ and that too in a very limited cases the courts are very slow the courts are very uh, reluctant to entertain the writ petitions on the uh, plea that uh, the, uh, there are disputed questions of fact generally in the disputed question of facts the writ are not going to be entertained so the assessee has to uh, take the call that the assessee has to go into the writ or the assessee has to go into the cit appeal once you have gone into the cit appeal 
there are eligible chances of getting your writ entertained by the high court so in this case 61 writ petitions were disposed of by a single order on the point that the assessee has filed the cit appeal the assessee cannot avail both the remedies and whether there is escapement of income whether there is change of opinion these are question of facts and cannot be entertained in the writ petitions at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is karur Kongu Charitable Trust versus Income Tax Officer Exemption and others and the matter has been reported in 455 ITR at page number 479 and the matter has been decided by Madras High Court and the date of the judgment is 28th December 2022. Thank you friends.